Pollard, CJ Allaby. CJ, seven steals for you tonight. Um, second all-time or tied for second or third all-time in Wazoo history. Were you just kind of seeing the ball well defensively or just right place, right time, a little bit of both? Um, I think it was definitely a little bit of both. Uh, I was being aggressive in the passing lane because I, I noticed they were just swinging the ball in their offense, and so I was able to pick a few of those off. Uh, one of your tougher games Tuesday, you bounced back really well today. Was it kind of you know a little extra motivation to kind of come out and really firing on all cylinders tonight? Um, I think this game I just focused on letting it come and letting the offense flow, and uh, I feel like we're in a good rhythm or rhythm on all, the offensive side, and then uh, defense we just we worked out outworked them. So, what does it feel like to get a steal and then just see the open court and see the, see the opportunity to flush it down like it's, that? This is my favorite. I, I love getting those steals. Have you had seven in a game before? Did, did back to high school or before? Um, that? I don't think I've got seven before. What do you think of the defensive effort as a, as a whole today? Probably a few kind of missed assignments and whatnot, but still, you know, held team in their seven points too. Um, overall, I think it was all right. I definitely think we could do better as far as more stops. But um, as a collective, we did very good on defense. Did you guys do anything for uh, for Jeff for his birthday today, or later on maybe? Maybe later, maybe later. <laughs> but I'm saying happy birthday, and, and we got the dub. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, how did that feel to be able to one on your birthday here? I mean, that's what I was focused on uh, today. You know. Obviously, woke up, got texts from friends and family. They're all, you know, happy birthday, this, that, and everything. But you know, I was kind of focused on one thing, one thing only. So uh, now that we got the business taken care of, time to relax a little bit and enjoy being 23 now. Season high 11 for you. Just, you know, a lot of the, the typical baby hooks and just the inside work. You just find it kind of, you had a little bit of a rhythm going on early with that? Yeah, you know, uh, sh uh, credit to my teammates on, on finding me in the post, uh, finding me in positions where I can I can score and be successful. So. Uh, yeah, they were they were finding me in there early and uh, definitely got a rhythm going down there and uh, just really felt comfortable. Coach kind of had some cho some choice words up after an inbounds play where you guys uh, kind of gave, gave them an open lane that I think they had a duck and um, kind of stormed off a little bit. Can you can you talk about that play with what you saw from that and just just maybe it shows that this team still still has a lot of work to do defensively and, and mastering everything still. Yeah, I mean that shows that uh, you know no matter who you play, we got to stay locked in uh, for 40 minutes and. You know, we can't have any slippage, and, and you know we, we definitely take pride in every possession, uh, trying to be as close to perfect as possible. So anytime we have any slippage like that, um, you know, not only is coach on us, but you know we all kind of as a group say, you know, we gotta we gotta be better and do better. Have you guys been urging CJ to use, use his length more in the passing lanes to, to kind of create more steals and more more deflections and tips and whatnot? Yeah, I mean CJ, he's got a good feel for the game, so you know he kind of just sniffs out those plays and stuff, and he's, he's got the athleticism to go out and make those plays. And, um, I really wish I knew like to get a steal and see the open court. Like, I don't think I've ever been in that position before, but maybe one day. Uh, CJ, it seemed like Idaho State was uh, implementing a plan to kind of face guard you, and you could actually hear the coaches yelling it. Did that change the way you approach the game at all, or just kind of still do what you do and just maybe make a small adjustment here or there? Um, yeah, I think I kind of let it come a little bit more. I noticed that they were pressing a lot, so I could get a backdoor maybe or a slip on the screen. Um, but for the most part, I was just focused on, you know, not getting the ball stuck in my hands. Just kept keep keep it moving. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.